okay. We're early, obviously, but we wanted to get the live stream going a bit before so that that's out of the way and we can be focused for the rest of the show. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Zest for Live Barcelona, guys. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be um, shooting at 6 p.m. Yes. Not shooting, but kicking off. <laughs> there are no guns in the no studio. No guns in the studio. Only very much of a technical equipment <laughs> that is making my brain go cuckoo. Yes. We, we got a good training this morning, this afternoon from Jim. So we're really Thank clear. you, Jim. Yes. So Love you, Jim. A lot of... Um, we love Barcelona, CTFN. <laughs> so we'll get started in a, in a few minutes. We just got a couple more technical things to handle, but we want to get live for now. Yep. Okay, I'm going to share this on my own timeline. Here we go. Oops. If you've got like requests for conversations or you know songs, let us know. Just comment below. Which one? Oh, the original one? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. Photos. It Vesta's is looking for a really nice photo that we had, which was going to go on the screen that back here. It's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. I'm not worried about it. It's on its way. If you guys comment, I'll be able to read it and respond to you because we're not on air yet. So we've got about 10 more minutes to be with you before we go live on air. So you're here early and we welcome you. <laughs> if you want to comment below, you can do that. Otherwise, stick with us for the full hour. We're going to start at the top of the hour talking about, as I said here, all manner of things. We're going to talk about spirituality, life purpose, creating intentions, what happened to me. Oh, we've got our... I don't know if you can see so it very beautiful. Well. You can see. Yeah, I can kind of see it. There. You can see. Nice. Let's see if that on the screen you can wow. check. Do, 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 do. Well, yeah, it's, I can see it alive. Nice. It's like weird. You're seeing yourself in a million places. Here. Yeah. So. Good for the ego, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> did you eat? I did eat, yes. What have you I had? had? Well, I had some lentil pasta Ooh. made of green lentils mm -hmm. and some pestoroso. Uh, with some pea. Pestoroso? Yeah, pestoroso. Mm -hmm. and some Who made pea. the pestoroso? No, it was just like a little ah. jar that I bought mm -hmm. and making myself. Um, some peas, uh, some uh, ajo granulado, like um, dried granulated uh, garlic. And that was it. Yeah, it was a bit easy. Last night I had a burger, an organic burger. Why did you eat the organic burger? Bacoa. Bacoa? Yeah, it's just, I think it's the best. They have organic so one of the only burger joints in Barcelona that's okay. I have From to. the Pyrenees. Yeah. So I got that. It was really good. I hope I'm not boring you, the live viewers here. <laughs> if you want to let us know what you had for dinner last night, you're free to do that. Just comment below or like the stream and let us know what you're thinking and feeling. And then we'll kick off the show properly in about 10 minutes. You're here early. Have you shared it on your personal page? How cute is this bottle? Have you seen this bottle? It has my name on it and everything. Matt. Very really? Nice. Yeah. It's cute. Is that why you bought it? Well, I didn't buy it. It was a gift, actually. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my bottle? Well, there's, okay, so there's that. We've got that done now. Okay. And there's seven people viewing. I don't know who you are. If you're viewing, let us know who you are. I want to know. When I see the numbers going up, I'm like, who are these people? Where are you? Yeah. Who are you? What are you? <laughs> and like, also, do you if you have any questions, just yeah. please, you know, do not hesitate to put in the comments below because... We'll make space during the show. We, we always, there's always a room for more yeah. space. The whole idea is about expanding, isn't yeah. it? In my and of course, we have what we want to talk about, but we will put, push that aside if there's something that you want us to talk about. Exactly. So, so please. Let us know. Just even say hello. You know, just like that. Very cool. So we're going to get started in about eight minutes. I'm just letting you know what's happening. There's a lot of things I've got to do when we get close to the starting point. All right. So I'm going to now focus. So you've got the outline, yeah? The outline yeah. is up. Okay, you've got it. Cool. I'm going to look at this thing. This is 
it's feeling good. Um, if you could turn on the air con now, turn please. On, yeah. uh, it's a little chilly in the studio. Yep, I can hear you. I can't hear myself. You can't, oh, you can hear yourself. No. Well, that's weird. Then you might want to look at the where that cord is going to. But I, I don't know. Like, so you have they to trace on. the cord. And then there's like, on this thing, there's different ones. Okay, he said that it's only one that it's connected it's to. It's one thing, but then each one has its own volume. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear? I can hear you. I can hear, I can hear, I can hear. Tup, pup, 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 yeah, tup, 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 You can't hear yourself. I, I tried all of them. Well, let's see, maybe over here. Talking to the mic. Hello, hello, no. Can no. you put yours and, and tell me? Now I can hear. So this one's you. Okay, but I can't hear you. You can't hear me right now. Okay, say again. Can you hear me right now? In your microphone, in your headphones? Can you hear me in the headphones? I can. You can, okay, good. Can, I can you hear me? Testing, test, yes, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay, so it's not within the no, studio. No, no, okay, no. it's all here. Okay, so what was it, the volume? I think it was that this one is you, like that's. Can you hear me now? I can actually. Can you hear me now? No, exactly. it's this one, so it wasn't all the way up. It has to yeah. be all the way up. Yeah, both that's of them. That's it, okay. We tested now, we know. <laughs> okay, I'm putting this back down. Ten minutes before the show, or yeah. eight minutes before the show. Six minutes, really. Yeah. I'm putting these back down. I don't like uh, death. So we're just going to tell people on you. Yeah. <laughs> she wants to be heard, and she wants to hear herself. Of it's course. important It's important when we're on a radio show that you know it's what's being heard. Balkan voice, baby. <laughs> the ba wow, Balkan pride. Of course. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay, cool. So I got this thing. I'm just coming up the first song. You guys are going to like it, I think. They can't hear it. Or well, no, they can they hear, can hear it that, yeah. if you do go on Barcelona City FM. They want to hear the... Oh, you, cannot you guys can't hear the song hear, yeah. here, yeah. So if you want to hear the songs that we play, which we yeah. think are pretty good, you can go on Barcelona City uh, FM website, and there you'll hear the songs that are playing on the radio. Yeah, like, I mean, you can also listen to our personal chat, you know, like if you want some new gossip. Mm -hmm. you know, but and then later we have the recording, the video recording, we put it on YouTube, so if you want to hear the music. Exactly, after. but, you know, to, to just kind of the, get the whole zest of the show, yeah. you know, I think it's nice that you are able to play the, to listen to the tunes yes. in between our chats. So yeah. just go on, uh, on, on Facebook um, or, no, 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 on Facebook. No, on Barcelona City Sorry, FM. Sorry, BarcelonaCityFM.com, which is the website. You'll need two tabs because you'll want to watch video there, but if you want to interact with us, you'll have to be on Facebook Live as you are now. I think we're confusing people well, so much. I'm even speaking on the microphone and it's not. And <laughs> we don't need to be speaking. <laughs> it's all. Oh, all right, okay. Matthew, I think I need to meditate. We can, we can meditate. Can we just please do it? Okay, do you, do you want to guide me? We've got four minutes, okay. We're going to do a little meditation. Do you want to guide me? Yes. Okay, let's do this. We're, all we're going to do is breathe. I'm going to take off my shoes. Me too. Wait, so when you're ready, I'm just going to do like a two-minute meditation because I want to be ready. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to breathe in the nose. Okay. Out the mouth. Longer, longer, exhale completely, fully. Now hold the breath out, don't breathe in. Now breathe in the nose, two, three, four. Breathe out the mouth, between the tongue and the upper lip. Exhale completely, looking silly, perfect. And then don't breathe in. Good. And then breathe in the nose, two, three, four. Breathe out the mouth, between tongue and upper lip. mouth and remain empty and 
Now, just allow your breath to be normal and just observe the breathing. Don't do anything to try to control it. Just observe the breathing. Notice the inhale and the exhale. Pay attention to it. If you want to count, you can. Or just notice between the nose and the upper lip the sensation. Just breathing in the nose and out the mouth. Concludes our two minute meditation because we've got to focus now on our show. Can we just postpone this? <laughs> just keep on meditating. Keep on meditating. So Facebook Live because if you tune in early, you're going to get things, little things like that, little bonus experiences. Okay, so we've got two minutes to go. What that means is I've got to focus on recording the show. So I'm going to do that. And you now. make sure that the top left hand side is down. This one. Yeah, all the way down. Music, yeah. Those are the jingles. I don't want that. I want to record the show. I'm pressing record there. So now we're recording in the studio. I'm going to put our mics up now. Okay. Just so you know. So we're starting to record the show. So that's done. And then we've got to wait another minute before we go live on the air. So let's see. We'll just wait for one more minute before we go live on the air. People are commenting. on <laughs> Christopher. He's like, this is the nerdiest thing I've ever seen. I can't look away. Who is that? My friend Christopher. Hey, <laughs> Chris. Yes, it is where it's the, everything running up to the actual launch of the what show. What do you mean the nerdiest thing that you've seen ever? <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> yeah. ah, you don't even know me. <laughs> you don't talk just for him, you talk for both of oh, us. Oh, you're talking, talking to me, you're talking to her. Uh, are you talking to me? Huh? <laughs> are you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're losing it. There, there is paint smell. I just want you to know there is like a paint, there's, they did some painting in here, so we're a little bit wacky today. So that is part of what's happening. Oh, Matthew, I don't know if it's the painting. God knows what you're doing. I, I, well, I didn't do anything that I shouldn't be doing <laughs> today. Okay, so we've got one more minute. So I'm going to, uh, exactly at the top of the hour, I'm going live on the radio here in Barcelona. And I'll let you know when that happens. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, we're going, uh, we're just, he just shouted us out. And we're live. Welcome to Barcelona City FM 107.3, Zest for Life Barcelona. This is episode four. Hi, Vesna. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be with y'all. We're going to play, we're going to, we're actually going to, yeah, let, let, why don't we, okay. I'm going to, yeah, that's what we're going to do for now. Number three. No, number two. Is that what you thought you were playing? No, it should be this. Yes, yeah, not. You're playing another track on behind on a web browser somewhere. Oh my god! What? You're playing. You're playing. Still playing mm -hmm. SoundCloud, right? Okay. That's it. Okay. 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 So all we remember is PCG. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Turn up to that. Yeah. Yeah. Turn that off. You don't need that. Boom. Muy bien. We made a mistake. It happens. That happens. Okay, so yeah. have you um, pressed streaming on the OBS? Oh, not yet, no. Yeah, okay, let's press start streaming. I'm speaking in a very softly filthy. Yes, I'm like Tarzan. Sense of zen. <laughs> <laughs> Forget <laughs> zen for life, it's zen for life. Zen yeah. for life, Barcelona. Thank you, Jim. No all right, good. good. I think we're all good. It threw me off that it, was, it kept yeah. saying not going, it wasn't going on. So yeah, so yeah. But is on. But, but, but yes. I, I love the name of it. It's it's genius, right? So cheesy. Yes. So but, but it's on. The, the video is on. Yes. The video is on. All is well. What else is on? Um, Are you on? I'm on. Yes, I'm on. <laughs> okay. And I've got my other song ready there. Okay. Cool. Now we're ready. Okay. Do you have jingles on? Do you want them first mm, of all? I'm gonna see how I feel. Right I would go back and open the Spotify screen just to pay attention to how far you are with this music. Yeah, we got to. You know, so, so you can pause it and things like that. That was a rough entry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know for next time, making sure that that's, you know, not going. Because that's what I get as soon as I'm on there. And then this, because that's confusing, it says telephone. No, just, but read below. I know, but I want to look at that. 
And that's his PC as well. They both say PC. So it's not actually good. But now I know. We had a good welcome in. That was a nice it was a nice welcome in, but then it was just rough and amusing. <sighs> and, that, and that was Ed Sheeran Shape of You that was playing. No, it was some other song because I played that before and it was like that's afterwards. Yeah, it was horrible. That's not our style. No. <laughs> So I will um, start off with what's new here. Um, whilst we have our uh, tune on um, playing, um, the ones that are watching live right now, I just want to say thanks to everyone that are joining at the moment in the show, guys. I noticed some people even from Prelip, from my little town from Macedonia. So thank you, Dragan, um, Alexandra as well. As I noticed uh, she was live and she liked the video um, let me see if there's you know some others Mark um, Eric Christina hi guys yeah from your side oh. I, don't, um, I don't know from your side because I'm just sharing on my own when I have okay. a look don't worry okay. Barcelona City FM, Zest for Life. Welcome back. Sorry about that little mix-up there at the beginning with that song that we played. I, sorry about that. And it's great to be with you. So, well, you know, like we are not experts in technology. You know, we are wellness and health experts. And so. we're learning every week. It's getting just better and better. So, as we always start off the show, we're going to start off with what's new and good. So, I want to know for Vesna what was new and good this week. I know we were both at obviously at Suco sessions. Um, can I hear you? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So basically, what's new and good? Um, I went to the Suka sessions. Well, mm -hmm. actually, actually, I was helping them with the organizing. Mm -hmm. I was preparing a melon water, which was extremely delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, melon water, basically, guys, it's a infused water, and for summertime, it's perfect. Basically, you just put a jar of water inside with a couple of pieces of melon, mm -hmm. and you wait to you wait for it to soak for a um, couple of good hours. And after that, like the taste of the melon is so nice and when it's fresh and you know, it's cold and nice for these hot summer days in Barcelona. So, Suco was absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, if you guys are in Barcelona, I recommend it highly. It was so much fun. Yes, yeah. Very nice way to let loose, you know, and just feel free. Yeah. And my weekend was quite chilled, mm -hmm. quite the opposite. Mm -hmm. So I spent my time reading book by mm -hmm. the beach what That's about right. yourself well i did obviously the suko sessions as well we were meditating there was some yoga we were running around dancing having a good time with those folks it was really really fun we mm -hmm. appreciated that um i went to the gym i also went to the beach and i launched my first uh free meditation class I actually just I, I announced it on my facebook page and I had so much response to it. Actually, it's completely full already within 24 hours. So that's really? going to be, yeah. Really it's cool. It's really cool. It's going to be um, the last Saturday in July. Is when the okay. first one's so where are you doing it? I'm going to be doing it online, actually. I think I'm going to be doing it on Google Hangout. I'm still working out exactly where it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, but that's, and then limiting it to 10 people. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just going to start teaching people how to meditate because I'm getting certified in that. So that's, Ooh, la, la, la. why not? Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a definitely a good way. Um, to you know to to start the day um, it's something that I need to actually get back into it I um, I was doing it quite a lot back yeah. in the days but um, definitely something to consider so maybe you know if there's one space available Let's I might see if actually I can make a little space for that now I mean, we're gonna be doing it every week so I don't know Matthew. If I can <laughs> well um, maybe I can stretch it beyond just the 10 the 10 Matthew <laughs> I'm giving him the looks by the, by the way yeah. right now daggers the Macedonian daggers yes <laughs> <laughs> I walked in here with a bicycle and he was like you've got a monster bike I was like I'm a monster woman what do you expect <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll make some space for you for sure for sure all right, so uh, we'll, we'll be back and we'll talk more about meditation at the end of the, at the next song. Mm-hmm. 
next one is spirituality. It all looks absolutely correct. And yet, what's happening? You sound distant. Oh. Who, me or him? Everybody. Oh. Distant from like Tinny? Papa. It kind of sounds tinny in my ear. I must admit that I do. it does feel different on the oh. microphones than previous times. That is correct, because there's no audio in the studio. Mm -hmm. Why would it sound tinny there for? What are you playing audio from? Right now, man. What are you playing from? Not, not Spotify here, not Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'd rather you play from this gadget, really. Okay. Well, we're going to have to learn, because it's very com we find it quite confusing. Do you think that maybe this is coming from there that it's going to sound familiar? No, well, no, I don't think that is the problem actually, because it's it's also got the problem when you're talking. Hmm. But it was I did an interview myself today, and it was absolutely fine. Hmm. I'm just looking to see what time is. One minute, that makes sense. Hmm. It's not, and it can't be. It's not. And we did touch those for a second, but that's not. Now, so you see, when the audio is like this, the audio is being driven by this. Hmm. Let me just, now you guys do come on, everything's fine, everyone can hear you, it's just that because I'm a perfectionist, yeah, I'm making yeah. it cool. as good as it can be. Thank do you. ignore me. Cool. So, um, I'm gonna... Huh? I am going to, yeah, you know, just do spirituality, but you know, engage into it, yeah, yeah and I'll ask you questions. And, stuff. and then go back and forth and our definitions yeah. of and how we yeah. practice and how it's changed over time. Exactly. Okay. Um, so, yeah. I'll welcome back and then I'll turn it over. And we've got a lot more. We need to check our time on mm -hmm. So right now it's about soon we're gonna end. So I would say until eighteen, seventeen to twenty that we talk. We go until seventeen. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Hi, hi everyone that's joining now that is liking our live video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna actually say something oh on the Sudanian. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna. Um, Zdravna City, dobro dovte na vo Barcelona City FM radio. Bo živo od Barcelona, v studiju Barcelona City FM. Zas for life Barcelona, welcome back. Hi everybody. So I'm going to turn this over to Vesna because we're going to have a little conversation about spirituality. I think Vesna is an expert in this kind of world. So I'm gonna, I want to hear what she has to say about it. I think, I, I mean, you had that experience with the guru guy. What was his name? The, the guy in India? Yeah. Which, yeah. uh, which Sri Bhagavan? Sri Bhagavan. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I wouldn't say I'm an expert. Okay. okay. Um, I would say that I have had a meaningful experience that yeah. has made a um, change in my life, um, that has uh, created a turn. Um, I would say that, um, you know, like, maybe has kind of knocked me on the ground mm -hmm. you know but uh with time you realize that it's been the strongest foundation you, yeah. you land on um it, it's, it's a very complex subject to discuss about spirituality and some people might be put off yeah by the most people get itself. turned off I, I know people that yeah. get turned off by yeah it. so um you know um we can also call it holistic practice yeah. um because i mean there, there's a lot of meaning behind the word you know and uh, for me, spirituality, uh, for those of you that are interested to know and they like the sound of the word, um, is connecting to the higher self, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Connecting to, to the source, which mm -hmm. is the source is the, the universe, you know, this universal consciousness that we all are part of. Um, and um, you, you know, how do you do that? How do you connect to 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 your true self, to, mm. to, to your heart? Is by implementing uh, spiritual practices. Yeah, yeah. I think different people go about it in different ways at different times in their life. I think I've had periods where I've been really, really. Um, how can I say? Really, spiritual. really spiritual. Well, just like really structured about it, like mm -hmm. in, whether it's a yoga practice or mm -hmm. kind of a meditation practice. What was this? Well, at different times. So I, I've been doing yoga for 17 years. Yeah. 
Um, and I think for a long time that was my access to spirituality. That was the way that I, you know, just by moving my body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now it's in those quiet moments when I'm meditating is, is more what it is. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so what is it? What type of insights uh, during meditation come? They comes out. What, what, what do you feel? Yeah, I think you know I, what I would boil down to for me is something like getting present to whatever is. It just is. There's no other meaning to it. Like it's yeah. it's it's simpler than we usually are making it. I think when I arrive at that place in my mind in my being, then I know I'm having some kind of practice which has a spiritual outcome to it. And again, there's, I've had that experience not just meditating or just doing yoga. I've had that in other ways. I even in my book I write about how you can, I've been present at the birth of a child. Like when that's a moment of spirituality. Of, mm -hmm. Or you can be in, in nature and just kind of see an animal or, or see some kind of what is that? It's, 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 it's why we get these weird sounds in the studio. Um, you, you can just be in nature and see some kind of amazing view and and be impressed with that. So. And, and, and have a connection to something beyond yourself. So I think the how I would define it is I go beyond myself. I get out of my own head, mm -hmm. and that is something And where do you go? It's, it's just being aware broader than class? myself. No, it's just like it's, mm. I, can, I, can, I can be with other people and, and the, the world in a new way. I, that's what I would say about it. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird topic to talk How about. How do you mean in a new way? I want to know now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's just, there's a, um, you know, there, I would say that there is, like, an, in a new way means something like I'm experiencing them actually and not my story of that, what's going on, or like mm -hmm. my judgment about them, what, 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 you know, I might be thinking about the person or the situation instead mm -hmm. of actually just. You're just being. Yeah, I'm experiencing it. Yeah, like, it's yeah, like yeah. I notice the things about the person or the moment and I'm not. Judging a story. It. Yeah, I'm not having a story about it in that, in that same moment. So basically, you're not putting a mind into it because, no. uh, you know, there's um, the mind is the ego yeah. where, where all the desires are, where, you know, we want a certain way to look like, we want certain things to buy, we want to control how uh, things are going to go. Exactly. So we're focusing on the physical, we're focusing on the material, everything that is external, everything that is outside of us, yeah. outside of our essence, you yeah. know. So it's it's completely different, you know, it's yeah. completely different the mind with the, uh, the mind and then the, the soul itself. Exactly. And um, um, when, when you're practicing meditation, uh, basically, uh, what happens during practicing meditation, you know, by having the ability to quiet down your mind, you m manage to 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 reach a state of presence and being in that present moment, and um, acknowledging just what is yeah. the way it is. It's really, it's, it's yeah. really, you know, to talk about it for any length of time. It, as we talk about it more. Yeah. We actually sometimes go further away from it. It's, it's, it is this dance, you know, and obviously we're here on a radio show, so we're talking about it. And it's like it's it's pretty simple. It's, I think when you said before about this, the mind, the only thing that you're using the mind for in that moment is focusing, just bringing some focused attention somewhere. Bringing awareness. Yeah, yeah. And a concentration, yeah. a kind of like I'm just on this, like whether it's the breath, a mantra, yeah. the way that I'm moving my body. Yeah. The, the details of some person or some yeah. situation. I'm just focused on that thing. Yeah. And if I use the brain that way, then I'm my the rest. You're practicing presence. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's mindfulness. Yeah. I think I think it's a very useful practice for, for beginners. Yes. Because, um, you know, like uh, you've been living a life for so many years, you know, just having constantly having this monkey chatter inside of you, you know. You, you cannot expect out of yourself to just switch off right away, you know, and being completely empty, that's not going to happen. That's right. But, you know, by having a mindful meditation, mindful practice, which is, um, I've done actually, I went on a retreat, um, is um, uh, there was this exercise that we mm -hmm. did, is um, they told us to close our eyes, yeah. and uh, they put something on our hand, oh. and uh, then the, they told us to actually try and feel this, touch mm -hmm. the actual Focus on the sensation object, of yeah, it, yeah. the sensation of it, then smell it, texture. then hear it, mm -hmm. texture, then open the eyes, look at it, look at the color. Yeah. You know, it was a little dry cherry. Mm. So then you try, and then without chewing it, try to, without um, s swallowing, mm -hmm. try to chew slowly to focus on the actual, on all the sensations of the taste that they come out, you yeah. know, and 
how that works with the with your um, saliva mm -hmm. in your mouth, you know, and like what is the experience that you're getting. So when you put your attention into that, you're completely in the present moment. Yeah. Because you're not thinking about anything else. There you go. And it, as you said before, it, is, it really is a practice. It's not something that happens right away and naturally. It does take time. No, okay. definitely not. I mean, in the, if we speak about spirituality, I think we can talk for many shows in a row. Yeah. Seriously. And most, most people realize, if they're truly on a spiritual path, they realize that that is a journey that will last the rest of their life. It's not, it's not something that um, is going to happen in an instant or even in a few months or like that. It's just going to take some time. And you know, the, the, one of the things for me is finding the ways to enjoy the, pr the path and the journey. Like if I'm not enjoying it, I'm not going to continue practicing. So I, I, I like to help people at the beginning, especially when they're first getting on the path, find the way that it makes sense for them so that they actually do it. It definitely has to resonate. Yeah. If it doesn't re resonate, you know, then um, there is a resistance there. There will yeah. be a resistance which will not allow for the practice itself to flow. Yes. So. Um, there's many ways, many paths that how you can practice spirituality. You know, it's like many branches from the same tree yeah. because the destination is the same. Yeah. The destination is, you know, um, being in joy and peace. I like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> love. You know, the destination is love. This oh. is it. You know, like being in love with yourself and being in love, you know, with, with your environment and your surroundings. It's you a know? great book title, Destination Love. Ooh. I kind of like it. Now you're giving me some other ideas <laughs> to write. <laughs> so it would be really, yeah, that's actually a really good one. I like that one. Yeah? Yeah. And what do you have got over there? Well, I've got all kinds of things. Oh, who's playing now? This is going to be Bonobo, Kerala. I like in Bonobo. India. I love Bonobo. And then there was like another, like when he was in here, there was like a, like a flight, sound like someone no, flushing the toilet. No, it's like, like, no, like, the, yeah, that, that, that thing was, also was so annoying because it was know, distracting distracted. from what I wanted I to say. And other sounds were like, what's up? We're getting sometimes some weird noises in our, in our headphones, so it's distracting us from what we're saying. By the way, Carmen, thanks for watching and thanks for your comment. <laughs> she just secretly walks up me saying, you're such a hot. Oh, <laughs> I'm just checking the social media to see what people are saying here. Guys, please put your questions forward. Spirituality is a massive subject that, you know, we're, we don't want to call ourselves an expert, but we do want to be realistic uh, and say that we have had um, spiritual experiences in many forms so um, if you're new to this you want to know anything particular or you want to start a journey of self-discovery or a journey of a simple meditation practice every day um, this is what we are here for so um, it will be my pleasure and Matthew's pleasure to to really open up more on this subject and speak to you live on air or even you know outside of the show so we are here for any consultation for anything that, that you need that is within the scope of health and wellness, of yeah. course. Within the scope of a personal growth. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Exactly. So we'll talk now about intentionality and then we'll leave this conversation. Okay. So I'm just going to break down a couple. I'm not getting a little warm again, though. Yeah, but that blows it's straight in. Yeah, okay. Right. If you want, you no, can, I can put I can it do another for a bit. I'll do another segment without it. Again. You sure? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Getting better with the, with the transition. That time there was no. Yeah. That's perfect. Yeah? Okay. I was well, watching because you had said 17 to 20, so. Yeah. Cool. Do you know where these guys come from, Bonobo? Um, I'm I think thinking he's Africa, US. Oh, I'm, really? I, I'm not sure. Right. Let, let me just have a look. But I really like them. Yeah, it's nice. We have one minute to the break. What was that noise before? Oh, did I say that's it? A little bit of, oh, it was a tiny bit of. Okay, could you hear it? A little bit of, okay, so yeah, not a big problem. No, everything's great. Everything's what, great. About before, great. on Does my headphones, better? there was sound, like someone is flushing the toilet like a couple of times, and it was so distracting to talk. Yeah. Something. Yeah, on, on the headphones. Oh. Now it's gone. But yeah, it was weird. It was, it was like, it was like whoosh, whoosh. Just don't get it right, that's all. Just 
check on it because that's it's a it's British musician. Wait, well, it's down here. That's yeah. another 25 seconds. Oh, okay, cool. You're going to start talking. Let's go for it. But it's sounding better, it's not sounding silly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Welcome back, Zest for Life Barcelona. Vesta and I are back and here to serve you, talk more about spirituality, and now shifting gears a bit to talk about intentionality, which is something that. <laughs> shifting gears. Don't grind those gears. And I actually. I need some oil. <laughs> I wrote an article about this actually a few days ago about the, the, the interplay, the dance between will and spirit. You know, as human beings, we want to know that we have some agency, we have some ability to change our circumstances and, and you know, choose how we're going to be and what our life is going to be like. And at the same time, it's important for us to connect to spirituality, which is, you know, kind of giving up some control and, and going beyond yourself. And, so, you know, there's, this there's a dance. Is, uh, this is where spirituality really uh, plays a big part because... Yeah. Um, um, you know, we, we want to know what's ahead of us mm -hmm. and we love to be in control of our circumstances mm -hmm. and in control of our lives and also even our environment and the people that we live and we share our life with every day. That's not possible. No. Just simple as that, you know, forget about it, accept it right here, right now. It's no. not possible. The only thing that you can have a control of is your own thoughts, your own emotions, your own self. Everything around you, it's it, it's out of your own control. Mm -hmm. So practicing or developing a spiritual practice helps you um, letting go of that control and being more into that present moment and trusting trusting the universal laws, trusting God, if you want to call it, whatever name you want to put, you know, but just trusting the source, trusting a little bit more that everything is, will be the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. I think one thing that you said that really resonated for me was any spiritual practice that's worth its salt, that's worth your time, will train you in being able to put your attention where you want to put it, you know, like, so that you have agency because the circumstances and what's happening are are what's happening in the circumstances and there are the people in your life but if you're able to put your attention on what you want to be able to like in other words if there's something going on stressful in your life emotionally with someone okay. and if you can shift your attention to what you're grateful for or what's great about that person then you're starting to develop a practice like it doesn't mean what they're saying is good or what you like it about them it just means that you're able to shift your attention so that you don't are not as triggerable as you were before. And this is, it takes many years and different practices to get to that point where you're not triggerable. I'm certainly still triggerable in certain situations. Uh, yes, but, you are. Yeah. <laughs> so am I. Well, you know, it's like, true. No, but, and, 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 and I trained We are like, humans, come yeah. on, you know. It's like, you know, it's a, it's an ongoing thing. It's for life. For know? sure. And, and I'm much less triggerable than I was before. Like, if you guys had met me 10, 15 years ago, it would have been a different story. Probably the same, yeah. you know, but this is the thing, you know, and this is the beauty of life because the only constant in life is change. So we are constantly evolving, we're constantly changing, we're constantly, you know, uh, growing. Well, I mean, and uh, the place where m most growth happens is when you're outside of your comfort zone, when you're, when you're trying to explore new things and, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm going to add something on what you said in regards to not just focusing on the positive things when you have some conflict with a person and like being grateful that is very important that is an essential part, uh, part to be grateful for what that person has done for you or the moments uh, that you have shared together yeah. but also looking into that negative pattern looking mm -hmm. into that um, you know those um, those moments of why are they you know Pissing you off? Mm. Why are they triggering certain mm. emotions as you? Because you know what is it there for you to learn at that moment? Yeah. You know, because every person we meet, it's either our teacher or our student. Yeah, I actually phrase it. I would phrase it slightly differently. I would say, not why are they triggering me, or I would say something like, what is it that this person is? What is it about me that is triggerable by this person? Like, okay, what? And, and that's okay. that's a subtle difference. It's like a yeah. Because it, it's kind of considering that it's it's never the other person. It's only, it was already there. In other words, if it wasn't that person, it was going to be somebody else. So it's not yeah. even about them, except it is because they're there in front of you and, and that's what you, you have to deal with. So, yeah, it's... it's, you know, it's yeah, it's not about them. It was always there, part of you. Yes. It was always there, part of you. 
but um, I would say being an adult, yes. um, being humble yes. um, as a human being um, is really important because momentum can, can take place in that moment. What I'm trying to say is that rather than reacting on the trigger of the emotions, when you are able to detach yourself from that and you just observe it, yeah. you know, momentum takes place because you can acknowledge that you can discuss it with another person and that's it's not going to push you further away it can actually make you closer mm -hmm. this is what happened with us a couple exactly. of weeks ago yeah. when we had that mm -hmm. moment of misunderstanding we talked about episode two i think yeah, yeah mm -hmm. we did we no. did oh. yeah but Absolutely. by the way, all the episodes are up, uh, uploaded on YouTube and we will share links for that if you want to watch yeah, you pre can see, previous ones. Exactly. Yeah. You can see the, all, all the audios yeah. on Mixcloud and then yeah. the video, the Facebook Live video, we then repurpose and put onto YouTube so you can see those for the past episodes. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm loving this. Yeah. I'm it's loving a, talking about this subject. It's a deep conversation. I think it's, yeah. it's, there's not many places where the conversation is happening um, in large groups. That's why... Buddhist sanghas are so fantastic. If people have ever been to one of those where you meditate and you also then have an opportunity to ask a question of the monks, and it's it's a rare opportunity. And because you know when you're when I, the churches that I grew up in did not have any conversation like this going on. So I just what I church did, did you grow up in? Roman Catholic Church. That's I'm now Greek Orthodox. Actually, that's a that's a that's a conversation for another. Show. Oh really? Yeah. So you're closer to my religion that I grew up in. That's correct. Oh, yeah, I'm not Greek Orthodox. Right. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that in a future episode. How right? did that happen? It's I'm a, looking forward now to know. <laughs> Matthew, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool story. I want to I wanna, I wanna share with people a bit of a song that I used to play when I was in university. Oh, yeah, so a, back in the high school days. Exactly. No, college, sorry. <laughs> Zest for life, guys. We love you. It's really interesting. Like so, one more question. Like you just need to put the microphone further sooner. Mm. But when you start to getting yourself ready, mm. I can see you getting ready. Just mm. put the microphone up mm. and you're still talking. Mm -hmm. Talking? Wait, before we were coming back to music? No, when the from talking into music. Yeah. It, I can see you, you're you're about to for go. The music? Yeah, for yeah. the music. Yeah. I can see you, but it's like you're waiting for me to finish uh -huh. talking. Just put it up uh -huh. and I'll stop. Okay, okay. cool. Okay. I have to trust that you're going to okay. stop talking. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Anything? That's all fine. No, I wouldn't say we're out of time. We're part bang on, I think. Okay, balance between self and culture. We'll be a little, we're like three minutes ahead, you think. Okay, so we can add on to the last one. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Sorry, there's still two minutes. I, I, I read this way that there's still two minutes. It's a little mystery. All good, but uh, I have got one mystery which I can't quite find. Mm. It's, it's not even about you talking. It's more like I'm not sure how to transition. Yeah, it's like it's weird to just go into a song like when we're, while we're talking. It feels odd to just let go. Like just try on the next one. I'll, I can maybe give you a little sign or something like this. Or I don't okay. Mm-hmm. 
this song? When you were young, when this song came out? Yeah. The song when you were young, when it came out? This one? Do you remember I was I was in my, so this is Jamaiqual, I was maybe... It's not even Jamaiqual, it's White Town. White Town. It's yeah. like Jamaiqual, it's a very similar. 15, 16, yeah. we used to go into one rock pub called Aporea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Was, yeah those were the best years. <laughs> Honestly. I know that right now it sucks. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know too much, this huh? is the thing, you know too much, you know? Yeah. Okay. Zest for Life Barcelona, we are back. We are back, guys. It's great to be with you again. Zest is going to lead this next conversation all about life purpose. Wow, what do we say about life purpose? Well, you know, when I used to listen to that song, I definitely had a completely different purpose about my life than I do right now. I wanted to be an actress. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I loved acting and dancing. I still love dancing. Mm -hmm. I'm still dancing my ass off. You know, I like a little boogie. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that at your birthday party. I did see her shaking. Yeah, the, the, on the percussion song. <sighs> that's that's the favorite part. I mean, how can you have an electronic music without live percussion and live, live vocal on? I mean, exactly. this is, you know, this is what brings the zest the into, zest. <laughs> into the right. music. That's right. Yeah. So, speaking of live purposes. Um, well, um, mm. there's a there's a big confusion, yeah. and um, this was discussed yesterday with mm. a very dear person to me. Mm. Um, that um, I do receive a lot of support and insights, and I work mm. with her, and uh, it was quite quite um, deep conversation mm. because um, you know people people are confused these days uh, between um, life purpose as in business or work purpose, mm -hmm. what you need to do in terms of like, you know, work or career and soul's purpose. Oh, well, okay. that opens up a whole other conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I think mostly... Uh, it's a big difference. Yeah, like what people do for work, what I do for work, is often based on the skill set that I either have already gathered or I'm still developing. And then there's like, it's kind of like, what the work that I do makes available for other people, or help, what you know, what how it contributes to other people or humanity, that's what I think of as more of my sole purpose or life purpose. It's like the, it's kind of the why, the mm -hmm. the, the skills. That's what I would say. Right, but do you consider that as being your soul's purpose, or do you consider that as your life purpose? Because there's a difference. Yeah, yeah. say more about it. what is the, what do you say is the difference? Okay, but the soul's purpose is more yeah. co connected to spirituality. Okay. Okay. So the soul's purpose would be to serve for the highest divine good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, life purpose or work purpose is um, more what you're doing here within the, the physical and the material. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, of course, that what you're doing is from your heart. Okay. And uh, you were, your purpose, same as my purpose, is to help humanity, to, to support and encourage and empower humanity to raise their awareness of better living, sustainable living, raise their consciousness through different practices. But my soul's purpose, it should be, or it is, serving for the light, uh -huh. right? Now, serving to the light is what is... Yeah, now, what does that mean? Okay, again, back to spirituality, the universe, you can call it universe, uh -huh. God, or whatever. So, what the soul's purpose has in stake for you could be completely different than mm. your life purpose. I just saw something while you were speaking. One way that I think I would know if yeah. I was serving my soul purpose versus my light purpose is that I would I would just feel this lightness and this excitement and this energy and this happiness. Right. And sometimes when I'm at work on my life purpose, that's not present. And I probably in those moments I'm losing sight of my soul purpose, even though I'm still on my life purpose path. Right. So if you want to look at it that way, okay, then um, a very good practice that I've learned through my studies and through my coaching is that um, and this is for you guys, of course, that that's the whole point of why we are speaking on the radio is um, focusing more on the feelings rather than, than your intentions, mm -hmm. okay? Because again, um, everything it is the way it's supposed to be and you cannot have always a control of the things that you want. Like, I want that car, I want that kind of money or I want to reach this mm -hmm. or I want success, but 
you know, focusing on your feelings. And so not your, your like desires or emotions, but like, how would you like to feel every single day? So establish five core feelings, you know, of how would you like to feel? So for example, yeah, exactly. okay, yeah. So for example, um, I want to feel happy mm. every day. I want to feel joyful. Mm -hmm. um, I want to feel abundant. Mm -hmm. um, I want to feel divinely feminine. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's time, baby. You know, I think I've got too much masculine energy you know, that I've been operating with for the past couple of years, and it's time to make the balance. So, all right. So, what are the action steps that I'm going to take in order to reach that feeling? Mm -hmm. So, divinely feminine, connect with nature, stay grounded start meditating or practice maybe some form of yoga, you know, to keep the body moving. Um, this is great because now this is the bridge between the last conversation we were having around intentionality. It's like, it's listening for what is wanted and then what's the action, how am I going to get there? Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, then happy, what does make me happy? What brings joy into my life? Well, for once and for sure that I do know is that my soul sings when I dance. Mm -hmm. So do more of that, you know, wake up every morning with some music or just have a little wiggle, you know, in the, in the middle of your, of your room. It doesn't matter who's watching or whether anybody's watching, you know, it, this is your moment. Um, joyful, what does joy represent? Mm -hmm. Or abundant, you know, like for some people, abundance can be, they're thinking about the material, the money and mm -hmm. things like that. But like abundance for me is like, could be love, you know, just giving and receiving love mm -hmm. you know from people mm -hmm. um, living in a in a lovely abundant environment so not just time. material things when you talk about abundance. yeah of course i think that you know once you start establishing you know these core feelings and put it you know start reaching out to them everything else slowly starts to fall into place mm -hmm. because you cannot be um for example and this is another conversation for another day but i'm just gonna touch base on it i'll with the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. You cannot be seeking for success or for attracting attraction of money if the place where you're coming from, you know, it's not aligned with that, with that what you're asking for, mm -hmm. you know. So the feeling has to be good. Mm -hmm. If you're coming from a place of desperation, so then you're just pushing them away from you. Mm -hmm. But if you're coming from a place of love and you trust, you know, that you deserve, that you are deserve this deserving of, of of receiving this abundance, then you there, there there's more flow. In one of the places where I've learned a lot about uh, living powerfully, they talk about generating a way of being, and I think it's pretty similar to what you're saying about the feeling. It's like Tell you, me more. well, yeah, it's like yeah. You, you get to choose who you're going to, like how you're going to be, and and, and like you can say, I'm going to be um, excited and, and joyful today, and okay. then that will create the emotions that will actually. It's like I'm going to be that way, and it's not. It has nothing to do with the circumstances. It's it's my choice as the way of being. Mm -hmm. And there's a, way, there's a technology, a way to do that, actually. And it's a, another conversation again. We're giving lots of seeds here for future conversations based on what you guys are most interested in. Yeah. We'll talk more about it yeah. on future episodes. And yeah, but it's, I think there's, there's there all the roads, for, and I think in any conversation around spirituality, all the roads are leading to one place, which is that human beings want to be happy. They want to know that they're making a difference in the world. They want to be loved. They want to love. They want to give their gifts and their skills to other people. And understanding that happiness comes from within. I mean, yeah. I don't think personally I have reached it myself. You know, I think I'm still working on it, you know, through trying trials and tribulations of all these different type of practices. However, sometimes it can become too, too consuming, overwhelming, can, and can be, um, you know, too, um, uh, how, how to say, like, um, the word is not coming mm -hmm. right now, but anyway. So, um, confusing, yes. yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Perfect word um, to can, can yeah, confuse with. It, it can, be really <laughs> can be really confusing. So, I really think, um, and this is not just advice for, for our audience, it's an advice for mm -hmm. myself We're as speaking well. to ourselves when yeah, we're talking about spirituality. Yeah, for ourselves, you know, the, the beauty of being a coach yes. <laughs> um, is that starting and, and to develop and uh, meditation practice is so important because when you're able to quiet the mind at certain moments, then you are more capable of listening to your intuition. And then you know which type of practices serves you best yeah. for the purpose of your soul, which type of direction you need to take for the, your highest good 
and the, the highest good of, of your environment and the people around you. Yeah, it's a perfect segue, and yeah. we're actually going to talk more about the interplay between um, the environment around you and your own personal world after the next song. Yeah, let's do it. Two. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a big 17 and off with the How am I good with the talking? Yeah. I'm getting into it. Well it's very it's very flowy and yeah, this, it's this conversation is gonna it's gonna be flowy this yeah. one folks. I'm not surprised. Okay, so this one. You know what it is when I go when I don't have the clarity about when the next song is I, I get worried about that while we're talking and it's like I wanna get that set so that I don't have to worry about it. But if you do that, you are going to press play. I'm going to press pause right away. So that's just fair. I'm going to go down. Okay. Next one. Because I'm going back and forth. Okay. This says we've only been going 28 minutes. But maybe he reset it. He might have reset it when he was in here. Maybe. Well, that's a weird thought. Because it's on. quarter to six. Yeah. So yeah. now it's, be it's balanced between self and culture. And you're talking. And the music break. And what are we up to? What's that? I'm just looking at the calendar. Yeah. Um, yeah tr try to do the transition. I was waiting for you to do it again. I did it fast. No, but like whilst we're talking. But like that would be way too loud for us to be talking about. Like this is like don't don't like I don't get how that would work. It worked last time. How? But there were different maybe different songs. Like I, I just feel like a hard song if it comes okay. in like. Okay. It's, you know it's weird. It's actually something to be aware of next time with songs I'm picking, like to know if they're soft or hard. I just want to say hi to Macedonia and hi to United States and what New York. Us? What up, Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. We благодарим на поддръжката. Please, what she said. yeah. <laughs> Please go to Zest for Life Barcelona. Like and share our page. Uh, we are wellness warriors. We just want to. Um, of course, you know, promote ourselves with what we do, but whilst doing that, we, we are sharing knowledge, we are, we're spreading awareness of um, um, of what we know. It, it's actually our responsibility to do that. You know, there's no point of actually looking only within the self and, you know, going through the journey of self-discovery without being able to share it, okay? So... Um, Unless you want to be a monk on the hill. <laughs> you, some people do, that is, maybe some people's sole purpose is to be that... Where they some see some deeper purpose, inside. Of course, yeah. Definitely yeah. not mine. I like to be in the world yeah. and I'd like to be able to ap apply certain practices within the world to be able to find that balance with my life. Probably most people listening are more like that. They want to be operating more effectively, more excitedly in their yeah. life, not on a mountaintop somewhere. I think I've got too much energy to be sitting on a mountain the whole time. <laughs> you know, I like my music. It's just not <laughs> And welcome back, Zest for Life Barcelona. Here we are one more time. Zest for Life Barcelona, <laughs> baby. It's great to be with you guys. So we're going to talk a little bit about the balance between actually what Vesta was talking about just at the end there, about being able to, whether it's meditation or whatever you use, to be able to quiet the outside noise and listen inside. Um, because, why? Because there's you were born into an existing culture. What, you know, in your country, yep. in your neighborhood, with yep. your family. There's a set of things that you became aware of when you were young um, mm -hmm. to survive. And so, so if you don't um, find ways to get quiet, then you'll only just do what you see other people doing and what they think that you should do rather than really tuning into what it is that, f first of all, makes you happy and then second of all, what you want to do to, to engage other people. And I think that's so important. I think if we're, only, if we're only ever reacting to our environment and to our culture and to our family, uh, there's a certain life path you'll have. And if you don't find what is your true path, I think when people don't do that later in life, they regret that. I, I, that's my imagination. Uh, but some some people, you know, they never even start searching for it yeah. because it, it's not the purpose of their soul again. It's, that's, right. that's not what they're supposed to be experiencing in this lifetime. Yeah. But definitely, you know, um, I think traveling, you know, it really opens up things. Sure. You know, I... Yeah, there's traveling external and there's traveling internally. Yes, 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But um, you know, for for some people that maybe they're more introverted, I think it's like it's um, you know, putting it first into the physical motion, you know, like opening your mind, opening your mind to being flexible to new experiences and stuff, you know, it intrigues the personality to start searching for more and mm. knowing for more. Cool. You know, and then you have you you're you're removing yourself from that culture, from that S society system that you've grown up in from the conditions that they've been put on you when you were a child of certain ways of behaviors and certain beliefs you start to see that there is different ways you know you start